Welcome to the AI for Good Global Summit 2018. I am delighted to be joined by Kevin Kajitani and Mr. Akira Fukabori. They are both ANA Avatar co-directors at ANA Holdings. Gentlemen, thank you for joining us. Thank you for having us. So, um, Kevin, we'll start with you. You both actually have a background in aeronautical uh, engineering. Right. So what's, it, what's that to do with avatars? That's a question that we uh, often get. Um, if, if I may, I'd like to kind of talk about what an avatar is, first of all. We define an avatar as being a physical system that allows you to essentially teleport your consciousness, presence, and skills to anywhere in the world. So it's kind of a new form of transportation. Um, it's not an avatar in a virtual space, but an avatar in a physical um, dimension. So um, the question we often get is, you know, why would an airline like ANA and, and an aerospace engineers like us um, pioneer a technology that allows people to travel without getting on an airplane? But um, we don't see avatars as being a competing technology. We see this as essentially an extension of the service that we've been providing all along, which is really connecting people and bridging the gaps of distance, time, and culture in the world. And when we kind of do the math, we realize that only about 6% of the world is, is traveling via airplanes. And as the only efficient providers of long distance connectivity, um, we believe that that's a huge market failure. And so we believe avatars will allow us to kind of break through that barrier and give, provide uh, physical access to the remaining 94% of the world. And you are both um, founding partners of the uh, XPRIZE oh, yes. and this uh, very interesting project. What can you uh, tell us, Akira, about the XPRIZE for, for avatars? What's the project all about? Yeah, um, so XPRIZE is a nonprofit organization based in the US and they created global competition to drive innovation. So uh, as an airline, it's really hard to create a, a really big uh, a disruption, like big innovation, because uh, um, yeah, like uh, m many, like including us, all the airlines are struggling. So. Uh, we knew that uh, XPRIZE is really a uh, um, professional for creating uh, innovation using technology. So we kind of approached them and we started uh, um, X really foundation partnership to work together to uh, really um, create inno innovation. And then in 2016, XPRIZE, uh, they used to create their global competition, the XPRIZE, in-house. They used to design it in-house, in but in 2016, they opened up the design process to outside or organization to, uh, to design the next XPRIZE. And uh, Kevin and I, we competed in the very first XPRIZE prize design competition called Visioneers, and we competed against eight other global teams. So at that time, our theme was transportation, the big theme to create the, uh, the prize. And uh, at that time, we really, our vision is vision is to really connect 7.5 billion people. But as Kevin mentioned, currently we only have 6% of the whole population actually traveling. So you need a really a jump here. So our solution first was we came up with the idea of, about teleportation, really. <laughs> so we tried to create a teleportation prize, but uh, we found out it, was, it will take for 100 years. It wasn't po impossible, but still it will take a long period of time. So we kind of um, first ba back us and come up with a um, telepresence, which we call avatar. So we t teleport into a robot, then we do communications or like we do tasks, and you can actually see and hear and touch. This is really important. So you have like 5G networks and you'll be able to log into the robot and you can actually feel the heat and the softness and the harness as well. And by by using this technology, you need a X prize because we do have the like VR AR technology, but those technology are really um, developing independently. So there, you need an X prize. So with the X prize, we can convert these uh, technology into an avatar. So that's where we started. So uh, now we launched the uh, avatar X prize to create general purpose avatar, which you can log. Anyone can log into that avatar and you can do multiple tasks. If you're a medical doctor, you can log in and you can do the surgery. If you're a teacher, you can teach children in different countries. And you can do that um, in, you, you, you can travel to like 10 places in one hour. 
Yeah. Okay. So, so Kevin, in order to deliver this, uh, this vision, right. uh, was AI the missing ingredient? It's one of the key ingredients. Um, mm -hmm. uh, as Akira was mentioning, in order to create a general purpose avatar platform, it requires integrating multiple exponential technologies, one of which is um, artificial intelligence. And the ways th the in which we see our AI playing a really important role in creating a general purpose avatar um, or multiple fold. Uh, for example, we see it as being a major ingredient in reducing the amount of data transfer that needs to happen because that's going to be a major bottleneck for latency issues, for example. Um, also, there are security and safety issues, um, and we believe that AI will help with um, kind of taking over in case of you know, unexpected situations, if there's a loss of network uh, connectivity, for example. And one other important um, relationship between avatars and, and AI that isn't often um, discussed is that essentially as people begin using these avatars to explore the world, to transfer their skills and, and um, experience the world, we begin to build this very rich, data-rich uh, database of human actions, communication, skills, and we'll be able to use that and feed those into the next generation of AI systems, which I believe will really accelerate our path to solving many of the, um, achieving many of the SDGs that we're trying to achieve um, through AI. So, Kira, to conclude with, yeah. why is it important for, for you and your organization to be here at the AI for Good Global Summit? Yes, so our really aim is to connect 7.5 billion people in new ways using avatars. Mm -hmm. So, the, really, the main goal is to tackle global agenda. But please imagine if you place one avatar in a remote village, that village will have access to every doctors or teachers or engineers. So, we can use like 7.5 billion skills and resources to tackle global agenda. That's the, probably the first ever th thing that we have, humanity have never experienced before. And to do that, we had to really work together with the, the UN and many organizations and many companies and many startups. That's the reason we came to attend this summit. And uh, um, we really are looking forward to work together with the uh, um, different kind of uh, really organization who have h strong passion to make the world a better place. Well, thank you very much to both of you. Thank you thank very much. You.